see all that laundry in the background? That's reality. All right, so I figured I would film this little bit of a clip to introduce you or welcome you. <laughs> it sounds like so formal, it's not formal at all. To my homeschool series. So I have gotten a lot of interest from y'all on my social media pages mostly my Instagram stories, and y'all really want to see what I do for homeschooling. And I Term very loosely because my son goes to preschool he go, he is in a classroom environment Monday Wednesday Friday but on Tuesday Thursdays I typically will plan an activity for him and then he also has independent work that he does that just supplements what he's learning in school this week a little bit of my background in case you don't know I am a former teacher turn stay-at-home mom and so there is a little bit of a part of me that thinks that maybe I would want to homeschool and then there's a part of me that knows that my son at least my eldest I don't know if he will love that so I am just kind of nurturing the environment for homeschooling in case that is something that interests them. But I'm also doing it because it is one of my passions and my son loves learning. So I feel like I'm gonna like go with this as long as I can. <laughs> First and foremost, I just wanna say that this series is gonna run February and March and I'm gonna see how that goes, how the views are going, how everything's going. So I am going to run this series for two months, which means you will get one homeschool related video every week for the months of February and March. That's exciting. If y'all at that point really love this series and want it to continue, make sure to like every single video that you see on this series and comment below. Let me know what kind of videos you would like to see. It's gonna be a laid back series where I just share with you guys what it looks like. This video is going to be what our homeschool day looks like. Good morning. So I thought I would share with you guys what our homeschool routine looks like most Tuesdays and Thursdays. We are very flexible with homeschooling and I use the term homeschooling very loosely because Nash does go to school Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I do like to do supplemental work, just fun activities basically. He is showing interest in on Tuesdays and Thursdays just because, I don't know, it's like the teacher within me gotta do it. Anywho, so I thought I would share with you guys today what that looks like. This is how our morning starts out. So this morning started out really early because Nash and Archie chose to wake up at five o'clock in the morning, but they're not allowed to get out of their bed until at least six or six thirty. Yeah, so my husband was amazing, got up, made us all breakfast. I got a shower and I'm about to give Nash his vitamins and Archie his vitamins. So if you're wondering what they take, um, Nash takes a kid's multi and a probiotic, a teaspoon of elderberry and a vitamin C. And then he also gets an allerg some allergy medicine. Archie gets Claritin, a probiotic. Ooh, a probiotic. So that's what he gets in the morning. And we're gonna get to doing that. And then the boys have already eaten, as you can see. <laughs> And this is the time where Nash gets to watch a, an episode. He gets to watch one episode while he is eating. And then when he is done, we have playtime. In between that period of time, we will then do the calendar and his responsibility chart just to kind of keep him accountable. And um, he has chosen what his prize is going to be at the end. And we'll go over all that when we get to that point. But while he is finishing up his show and Archie's kind of not watching TV at all but just running around the house, I'm gonna tidy up the kitchen and get our homeschooling area cleaned up again. Who's that? Oh, you can't have it. <laughs> all right, so the boys are now having some outside time. Um, they're doing their roof next door so it's a little loud. They're having a little bit of outside time playing together. Um, then, I am going to go make my bed, put away any laundry that I have in the dryer, and then um, usually we do about, sometimes it's like 15 or 20 minutes of outside time depending. If it's nasty out, what I would do right now is give them an activity to do, like magnetiles or something. 
All right, so that is all cleaned. I didn't get to put away all the laundry, but I will do that probably during nap. Now I'm gonna go play with the boys. So playroom's a mess, but I just keep it a mess all day pretty much. Um, I am gonna come and play with the boys for a little bit outside. Today Nash is going to be doing, he is doing O's in school, so he's going to practice again. We did this Tuesday, we're going to do it again today, Thursday. We're going to practice tracing and writing out our O's, and then if he wants, he can go on to P's. Alright, so Nash has independent work, and we do independent work when Archie's awake, and then we do our activity when Archie goes to sleep. This is a new thing that we're doing because Archie's impossible to do a homeschool lesson when he's awake. All right, so what letter is this, Nash? P. <laughs> You're being silly. What letter is that? What, R. Nash, what letter is it? L. Oh, and what sound does O make? Does O make a P sound? Does orange start with O? Yes. Okay, and it also makes the sound like ah, ah, octopus. Does octopus start with O? Yes. Okay, so what letter is this? O. And what sound does O make? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Very good. Orange. Is this an orange? Yes. What are two words that O starts with? Um. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's the sound. Does orange start with O? Yes. Okay, so you would say orange, orange starts with O, and what else starts with O? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Octopus. Very good. Okay. Like a, so, a tie. Yeah, it kind of looks like a tie. A round tie. <laughs> All right, so you did very good at tracing. Now I want you to draw your own O's. Okay, your uppercase and lowercase. Now remember, do you start at the bottom or the top? Top. Yeah, you start at the top so you can make that loop. Start at the top. Good. See? You see that loop you did? Yeah. Now make sure you're staying between these two lines. Okay? okay, but that's a very good O, but we gotta stay between the lines because if you're writing, you don't want your one letter to be really huge and the next one to be really small. Okay? All right, do two more of the lowercase. You have any snacky arch? Is it good? Good, wow, that is a perfect lowercase O. Mommy, can you get you me my so drink? You are so good at lowercase O. Oh, All right, you wanna do this? No. No? You want to do this one? No. Hmm. No. Do you want to practice writing your name? That would be fun, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. All right, now Nash, for his second independent work, he's going to practice writing his own name, and he says he can write it all by himself. How do we, how do we write in again? Do you want me to write it for you and then you can copy what I do? <gasps> Look, you didn't even need me to. Good job. A. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Nash, this is beautiful. Can you do your S? Oh, Archie, careful. All right, so that's a good S. We just need to flip it around. Oh, Archie, can you come sit in your booster, actually? This, this is stressing me out. Oh. Oh. Mommy, look, look, this look. This is why we don't do our big lesson until it goes, wow, that H is incredible, honey. You guys now, how does my last name look? So you don't fall. Mommy, how does my life? Well, let's work on your your Nash. It's almost absolutely perfect. It's just that your arch. Your arch, look. Look, Mama's gonna get you a pen. Oh, you don't want to do that? Oh, what is that activity, Mommy? Oh, I'm just trying to keep Archie entertained. Okay. We need to flip that around. 
Yes. Okay, and your H is perfect. Um, so let's try to flip our uh, S around. Um, yeah. Could we? Could I do my my last name? Yes. Once you get this S. How are we keeping Archie entertained? <laughs> Trying to, at least. Loop and then you loop. See that? Okay. Yes. Can you match it? So we have red and green and pink. And yellow and orange. Mommy. And blue and I think I did two purple. of my name. <gasps> Beautiful. Alright, now Nash can just play in the book. He can just do whatever he wants in the book. Because he's done the two lessons I wanted him to do in the book. So you can choose whatever you want to do in there, bug. Alright, and then as Nash completes a goal for the day. Today, I is for independent, and he has done what I wanted him to do with independent work. Mommy, um, look he's about to complete it. Oh, cool, counting. We just do homeschool Tuesdays and Thursdays. I is for independent, C for a craft. Sometimes we don't do a craft, sometimes we do. R is for reading and A is for activity. Um, activity will sometimes be math or science or something like that. Today, um, our activity is gonna be going along with reading, but the other day we did a math prop project, but we might do math, I don't know. We'll see what Nash is up for today. So right now he's doing- I wanna do math. You wanna do math? Okay. Yeah, today. Okay, well we'll do that when Archie goes to bed because it's hard to do stuff when Archie's awake. We might be able to do math. You want me to get a math lesson going? Yeah. And you can do that after you're done, you're done with that page? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're actually gonna do a math lesson because Nash said he wanted to do one. So, what does this symbol stand for? Ten. Does this mean we're gonna be adding numbers? No. Look, look at the symbol. Does this mean we're gonna be adding numbers together? Yeah. It's called addition, right? Right. What two numbers do I add together? One. Mm-hmm. So I'm adding one plus one. And what does this bar mean? What goes underneath that bar? Um, um, a, a number. Yes, your answer, right? Right. Your That's your answer. answer. Okay. I mean two. Well, one and then plus how many? Two. Okay, so one goldfish plus one goldfish equals? Yeah. What? Two. Two. Where am I going to put that two, man? Under <gasps> the bar. Very good. That's our answer. Beautiful. Okay, and then our craft activity craft thing we're going to do today is um, we're going to paint rocks. So I just cleaned these because Nash picked the dirtiest rocks we have. These aren't really painting rocks. You should have like river rocks, but this is what we got. So he picked those out and one of the part of the activity is going to be for him to put it into a pattern of smallest rock to the largest rock and he's already counted them. So he chose to pick seven rocks and so he found seven rocks so a little bit of a counting activity a little easy counting activity but then we'll do a sizing and then um we'll paint them for fun so today i've been doing i've been doing a little bit more math and then his um one-on-one -on -one lesson with me is going to be with our little critters phonics books and y'all i have not even had my coffee yet <laughs> It is 10-10. <laughs> All right, I've also not gotten myself ready, really, which is very typical for Tuesday, Thursday. Those are like our lax days. We just kinda, you know, I try to like pick up on housework and stuff like that. And the boys are just outside playing again. So, yeah. This is kind of the beauty of, you know, being at home, but 
you know. Nash got his all of his independent work done, which was really good. We have been working on addition, which has been fun. Um, and we just get through a couple problems. I mean, he's four, like, he can only handle so much. But he gets really burned out, like I've noticed that. And I can typically get a good, I would say like 15 or 20 minutes out of him and then um, he'll get pretty burnt out. So uh, this has been one of the most difficult things to learn is that his lessons just have to be a certain amount of time and a lot of it needs to be independent because he really likes to work independently. Like he really, really does. He wants me to just show him and then he wants to do it. I've really noticed that. So also another little learning curve with having two kids and one being 19, 20 months old, is that, I gotta make that coffee. Um, I was finding, you know, Archie's getting more inquisitive. And so, as you saw when he was doing his independent work, I have like these little things that he can't really like do, but he feels like he's doing something. But if I am doing a lesson on the board or like where I'm reading with Nash or something, cannot do that while Archie's awake. Like cannot do it. We can do math activities when Archie's awake, um, but reading activities, we just can't because he wants to do everything that we're doing and he's not capable of that yet. So I got so frustrated last, well on Tuesday when I was giving Nash his phonics lesson because Archie was nutty. I put it on my Instagram story. If you aren't following me, make sure that you follow me on Instagram because I keep it real on my stories, y'all. <laughs> and I shared like, holy moly. It was just like a mess. And then, let's see. What is it, rocks? Um, and so, and then in turn, I get super frustrated, which means I lose my, so it's like internally, it's like this, internal losing it but um yeah i definitely lose my patience and i've learned that like okay there are signals that both of them give me when they are done and i just have to listen to them and not like push through we're gonna make a pattern do you want to make a pattern yeah okay so there's all these rocks okay we've added a couple more i want you to do a pattern of the smallest rock to the largest rock Okay, and, and not pick your the nose. Medium rock. Yes, they'll be in the middle. Okay, so which one is the smallest rock in our bunch? <gasps> so that's gonna go first, right? Right. Good job. Okay. All right, do whatever you think. I think big. Okay. Big. Okay. Medium. Okay, you're doing them in order from smallest to biggest. And medium. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we have uno, dos. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, dos, seis, seis, cuatro, siete, siete, ocho, um, nueve, nueve, diez. Diez. Very good. Okay, so you think this is the biggest rock you found? Yeah. All righty, there we go. All right, we just finished lunch. It is noon. And Mommy. we just finished our lunch. We had avocado, pineapple, goldfish, Mommy, and dinosaur nuggets. And now we're gonna clean up, have a little bit more playtime, and then we're gonna get ready for nap time and quiet time. <gasps> right? And Nash is gonna have his lesson once Archie goes down. You want one of those, baby? You go. Uh oh, pick it up. <laughs> All right, so now for our activity together, we're gonna to start off with, we have pictures of objects, and we're gonna go over the sound of the letters and what letters they are and what Z. it starts with. Oh, okay. All right, so here's your clip. Yeah. And what is that a picture of? Um, 
A zipper. A zipper. And what does zipper start with? Z. All right, where's our Z? Very good. All right, do you want to clip that on there? Yeah. No, you clip it on where the Z is. Y makes a Y, Y. J makes a J, J. Q makes a K, K. Why? Very good, it's a Y. All right, this is a violin. What does violin start with? Um. Does it start with a B? No. A V? No. Or a T? A V? Very good. All right, this is an umbrella. Does it start with a U? Yes. Oh, good job. This is a what? Uh, sun. A sun. And what does sun start with? Uh, no. So it starts with a T? It says ton? Yeah. No. <laughs> does it say s -s sun? Yes. All right, so which one? Which one's that? What letter is that? I don't know. An S. 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 Okay, S. we're stopped with that. Okay, so we are going to do this phonics book, or do you want to do math? Which one do you want to do? We want to do phonics. Okay. We're going to be doing this phonics book. I got these I Can Read Little Critter books. We're on book two. We're working with a long A sound, okay? What I do with these is there's a long A sound in all of these words. So I write down either those words or the sight words, and then he has to find those words whenever we're working on them. What I'm gonna do today is just write down the sight words because we don't have a lot of time because we're trying to get this done and then he has quiet time and he needs quiet time. So we're gonna write those sight words down. All right, the long A sound makes a sound like br aches m a so what we're going to do is whenever you hear me make that a sound in a word i want you to go <gasps> like a light bulb went off and then i want you to point at the word that i read that made that noise okay all right my skate board breaks all right which one Skateboard, skateboard break. Very good. That made that long A sound. Dad says you need to save money to ding, buy ding, ding. a new one. Which word? To brave to, to, to buy a new one. Very good. It said save, right? Save. Yeah. I think of ways to make money. I sell lemonade. Lemonade. Very good. Lemonade and ways was another one. Yeah. Very good with a long A. Now we're going to look for these sight words right here. All right. My skateboard breaks. Did you hear but, want, buy, or think? Uh, I, I heard my skateboard break. Okay, so none of our sight words. Dad says you need to save money to buy a new one. Did you hear any of those words? Dad go says you have to save and save enough money to to buy a new one. Very good. All right, you guys, so it's about 2 o'clock now, and we are done with homeschooling. So that's it. We don't really do anything crazy or super, like, regimented. Um, we just, I kind of go at his pace because he's only four. Didn't get to finish, and this always happens. I always, like, over plan. It's fine. We only got to do one of his math prop project or problems, but the other math that we did was with the rocks, and we also had I had him line up for size comparison, and then um, we counted them and we counted them in Spanish as well, and those are just kind of like little things. And we had already done this whole math lesson on Tuesday. So you're wondering if all I do is reading. But that is something that we're really working on. And here's a look at their rocks. They, they came out pretty cute. So um, we will hide them tomorrow. And 
that is a look at what we do for homeschool. As you can see, I look fantastic, real fancy looking. But Tuesday, Thursdays, we just kind of, typically I will get his homeschool done throughout the day. Um, but we always have a play date those days or something. But I kind of, I try to keep it chill. One thing that I totally forgot to film <laughs> was um but that's just real life totally forgot to share with you guys our calendar time and our responsibility chart time i try to do this in the morning but sometimes i don't even get to it till like the evening <laughs> but i try to do this at least on tuesday thursdays and typically i like to get it done after we have breakfast so we just go over the day the month the day the year um what the weather is and how he's feeling, special activity, what we're doing. Um, and then we just have this responsibility chart. Um, Nash has to go over, like, you know, I just like to go over what are our goals for the day and how can he earn his pegs. If he earns all of his pegs, he earns a dollar a day. You know, we can kind of go over like, okay, you only have three more days and then you get to buy this or you'll have this much money to put in your savings account or your um, piggy bank. So that's just one thing that we do with the calendar. Mostly we just try to have fun with it. I really try not to be too strict with it or anything like that because like I said he's four so so um if you like this series remember to show it some love so that I know that y'all are enjoying it and I will continue doing it otherwise it's just gonna run from February to March and then it's a lot I don't know because you know but I thought I would give it a go because y'all seem like you want it so I hope y'all enjoyed this video and if you did again show it some love so that I know that y'all are enjoying this series and I will continue doing it um if I get a lot of love maybe you'll get two videos a week of the homeschooling regiment and stuff like that so there's that all right bye y'all